What's happening guys? Thanks for tuning back into another video. We've got more Duramax content rolling in here and today we're going to be talking some big upgrades for the Duramax. So on the way here, I got some extra footage for you and we wanted to go through some differences in the big turbo that I have on the truck. So we're gonna go in between some of the reasons why I'm gonna be doing this big upgrade or staying with what I have. With the specific tuning that you have, when we had this turbocharger tuned, we had to make some little tweaks and adjustments. One of the biggest ones was the vane position. We had to dial up that vane position so we could keep this big turbocharger spooled as much as we possibly could. Because it is so big, we wanna have as least amount of lag as we possibly can. So we've got the vane position way up. When you turn that vane position way up, what are you gonna have? A lot of back pressure on the exhaust system back pressure on diesels what's that going to compound to that's going to lead to higher egt's that's the biggest problem that i have so let's cut over to a video that i took on the way here when we're talking about what kind of egt's we're getting on this one of the other things that people really don't think about or understand when you're running a large turbo so this one is a 6871 it's a 68 millimeter race turbo from ryan's diesel and it performs fantastic but with the tuning on this to be able to have it function you're going to have a look at this number these are our egt's we have our vane position you know cranked up a bunch to keep this turbo spooled for when we really want it so when i am just cruising along here at like 55 60 mile an hour i'm up over 900 on my egt's which is pretty high for that now, if I get to lugging this thing, say, you know, I ended up, ended up uh, shifting into sixth gear, say when I'm going down the interstate or something like that, uh, the EGTs will actually keep it a steady right around 1100, uh, 1150 degrees, which is actually really high. So for longevity of an engine, if you're driving this thing interstate, I would definitely not recommend to get a 68 millimeter race turbo now for day-to-day -day driving you know if you're just doing spot to spot that's like a couple of miles here and there yeah it's great i love it and that's what i primarily do but now when we're going on this three and a half hour trip up to hsp i have to run this thing in manual fifth to go down the interstate to keep my egt's down to where they need to be so what's gonna be the solution to this high EGTs, lots of back pressure and boost lag? We're actually gonna go with compound turbos. So we've got the hookup. We're gonna be working with HSP here on one of their compound kits. We're also gonna be working with Ryan's Diesel Service and we're gonna be changing out that Valley Turbo. We're not gonna be keeping the same 68 millimeter one. We're gonna be going with a whole different setup. One of the other reasons we, we chose this size turbo, a lot of guys, it's real easy to see online guys getting these giant turbos and the reality is is if you think about the percentages of, that you're driving your truck 99 percent of the time you're in that 1500 to 2500 rpm range and those big turbos they're just not in their efficiency range they're going to be sluggish and lazy and almost in the way of just the the engine trying to create the the, the air that's supposed to to make the power we really want to make sure that the turbo is sized for the driving style of you know whoever's driving the truck. I mean, we got it's no fun to to be able to pull up next to a, a Mustang or Camaro or, and and go to race and all of a sudden they're gone by the time your turbo even lights. I mean, you'll get left behind. But with stuff sized properly, I mean, they're going to have a hard time keeping up with with even just a stock motor truck, stock fuel truck with you know a kit like this. So as far as the hardware goes, in a single application, you just have a lot less components. The compound, it does add a little bit of extra, you know, extra components, but the benefits definitely outweigh the, the, the cons of having the extra stuff, you know, under the hood. Everything as far as, you know, all of your clamps, all of your boots, um, the turbo is going to come with your oil feed and drain lines. Um, we really try to, you know, as far as the quality of the product, I mean, we do everything we can to make it, you know, as, as good as we possibly can. I mean. I like uh, 
cleanliness and, and I mean a race inspired uh, product. I mean that's what we do. We, we torture tested everyone we can put on here and, and make sure we can beat on it and you guys are never going to have issues with it. We chose a little bit different turbo and, and Ryan can talk about that if you want to come in and tell him about that. So the turbo that Kyle went with here is our Billet 475. Uh, this is a six wheel compressor. Um, and then he also went with a 115 exhaust housing. And what the exhaust housing is going to do is it's going to help that charger to spool up faster down low. It's going to lose a little bit of power on the top end, but he was mainly concerned about that low end power get, helping get those EGTs down. Uh, standard, we normally sell a 132 housing on these kits for the guys really looking for the performance. It's a great housing that does well all around, but Kyle wanted to make sure he had that low end grunt that he needed in this truck. Lots of information to be able to take in there for you and hopefully when you're thinking about going with a turbo and intake and upgrade for your vehicle and for your truck, you are thinking about those things that Joe was just going over. What kind of driving you're going to be doing, whether you're going to be towing, whether you're going to be doing you know, interstate driving primarily, or whether you're just going to be taking it to the track and beating on it. You have to think about those things. You can't let your ego get in the way and order, oh I just want the biggest turbo they possibly have you can't really do that one think about what you're doing before you go ahead and order it now with HSP they've got an amazing ordering system when they go through the ordering process you can either just go it online all through the one single online process or you can call in and talk to a customer service representative they're gonna be able to give you all of that information and answer those questions that you didn't even think you knew to ask so let's talk about some of their customer ordering and what it's going to take to order an amazing kit just like this one. So our ordering process we go through we ask an extensive amount of questions it probably gets a little annoying to the customer but we want to make sure everything is perfect for them so what they have under the hood if they have different up pipes or a different turbo that they're running with different flanges or whatever the case may be we just want to make sure that our parts are going to fit perfectly a lot of the times we like customers calling in or emailing versus going on the site we can ask them questions that they might not have thought about. Future plans with a truck is huge. You know, if they plan to go to compounds, we might recommend something um, differently than just if they just want a nice factory truck that is just going to have some different intercooler piping or traction bars on there. Um, so asking those questions is huge to make sure that they're going to get exactly what they want out of their truck. And I mean, at the end of the day, we just want the customer to be pumped and happy with everything that they got going on and works better for everyone at that aspect. Hey guys, my name's Ryan. I'm with HSP Diesel. Um, if you guys have any technical questions, I'm the guy you talk to on the phone. Um, that will cover everything from your what you want to do with the truck to what turbo size you want to go with, all the way down to what fuel injectors will work best for you. Um, I also handle a lot of the customer service stuff. If you guys are having any issues installing your kit, um, I'm the one you guys talk to. I'm also the technician back in the shop. I've installed many of these kits, so if you guys have any questions on them, I have first-hand experience with all of them. So when it comes into the ordering process, they've got you covered when it comes to ordering the kit, figuring out exactly which kits you want to get, what you're looking at down the road, and you know just getting the right thing, not from what you think you want, but to what you actually need into what you're going to order. When you're looking for technical service, they've got that one covered too. They've got the correct person to answer the phone at any time of the day. So if you have those kind of questions, feel free to call into them. If you're one of the guys who likes to actually speak to a human instead of you know, conversing back and forth on an email, they've got the guy to be able to cover you in any aspect. Hopefully you guys found this video enlightening and you got some information out of it and seeing what exactly we are putting into the LBZ build. It's gonna be continuing on over at Truckmaster's channel, so make sure you go and check that out. He's gonna be taking the truck over to his buddy's uh, shop over at Schwartz Creek, Michigan. They are the diesel pros. Their shop is absolutely amazing and we're actually going to be doing a video on their shop as well coming up in the next couple of days so make sure you stay tuned for that we're going to even be looking into some videos on the differences in shops between like the sh kind of shop that i work in to the kind of shop that they work in as a diesel shop so really good content coming forward the tool and the shop guys as well i appreciate you guys tuning in today make sure you hit that thumbs up 
like the video and turn on that bell notification so you get notified when I come out with cool, amazing content just like this one. Thanks again, and as always, you guys stay awesome.